15, the first major sin, the first game of the major here on the on the mainstream. I'm excited. I'm actually really excited to see this matchup. Like it's cost EG much in other avenues. Mushi in Ohio. Yep, this is the perfect time. It. PPD tried nice. to initiate some Mushi. Just needs that telekinesis grab and he'll get it. Ohio will be the follow-up stun and DJ lines up the power shot. There's your first blood going the way of Mushi. The support player for Fnatic. Is that the play for him? They could do that. They could also, of course, transition the anti-mage into a, a little bit of jungling. If he has Ring of Health and uh, Ow, Bone Blade. Really committing on this top lane, dropping the Tombstone with a Shadow Strike. Ohio gets a double crush, gets rid of the Tombstone, and with a follow-up drag back, it's not going to stop Samael from blicking himself forward. There isn't enough damage to kill off their slaughter. It's only a level one Shadow Strike, and Mushi knows he's in trouble. He's hanging in the tree line while the Kree wave is here. He needs extra support, and it's coming in. It's Selena on his way, and but Mushi is already dead with a Lion Strike array. The control is on the Queen of Pain, but Net doesn't have the damage to follow up and kill off Samael. So at this point, Mushi is down. But Fear needs to get himself out of here. They lose their courier at the same time. Fear taking so much damage from the, from the tower. There's trouble for Samel. He blinks himself forward. Net underneath this Queen of Pain. And Samel turns around for another kill. Ohio, crush back off cooldown. He'll need another hit in here. He's able to claim it. Samel down for the count. Fear limping himself away on this top lane. And we now level up the board at two apiece. Yeah, that the courier's uh, death time isn't that important, but... I definitely agree that could be a problem. Courier's not the other way. There's yeah. no speed boost on that courier. So yep, they're courier. gonna take out the courier. But can they claim the Wind Ranger as well? The Shadow Strike and the Frost Blast slowed down DJ. Oh, Samael's level six. He yeah. should be very dead if this blink comes out. Oh. Uh, you've got an illusion rune, however, which means DJ's gonna be able to regen up nice and quick. Looks for the shackle. Can't latch it perfectly, however, and there's a sonic wave. Find the kill Ohio. Couldn't arrive in time to get the stun off. And now they can try and turn. Mushi picking up onto Samael. The blink is still on cooldown for now. Let's one last scream go. Aslada sprinting. He wants his way in. That range creep's giving the vision. In fact, Black has arrived. There's not enough mana for a mana void, and no one's really lost enough mana for him to really inflict a level of damage that would cause a critical Radiant. kill. Nice to go into that early Agadim Scepter. One of the... I think it's like one of the very few people that actually prefer that direct build in. As uh, top lane, Tombstone is down, Ohio. Oh, Mushi, that's Soul Rip. It did enough damage from Fear to ensure the kill. Now we've got himself 50% of the kills for Ichi. How much damage did he get? He got two-thirds of the tower down here, so good play by Arteezy here, identifying that Fnatic had rotated in. Everyone in submit, now DJ again. This time there's no Rubik to save him. No, but they have Net available and Universe Laguna Blade down. That Soul Rip is going to do some work, and in fact, Fear, with his ulti out and Tombstone down, has the confidence just to push under Net. And I think Fnatic are cutting their losses. I'll accept the fact that Net is going to die next to DJ. But their return is that, that Slana is able to get the free lane on top. Samael is playing this perfectly. He knows something is up. Ohio's gone missing, and this is the right time for the Blink Dagger. Oh, he's gonna try for CS now, though. Yeah, he's too close. Crush up, amplification's on as well, and with Laguna Blade, they have enough damage. Samael gets picked, and patience was not a virtue displayed for long enough. They try to transition it into some push of their own this time. Yeah. It actually gives them a good counter as well, because with this, this kill coming out, uh, you've now got Net almost at a 4 star. So you've got Telekinesis, Universe, okay, he's in a, a bit of trouble here, being picked up and thrown back onto the other side of his cogs, and then a stolen cogs pushing him down. Blight just needs to mana void to get the kill, but Wind Ranger, DJ with the power shot, will be the one to kill Secure it. By the fact they already picked Clockwork into the Rubik, and now he's up against four stuff. And when he isolates himself inside the Cogs, even the Lena with the Lion Strike Array is good against him. Clockwork, now here comes your hookshot forward. Net just gets burned away almost instantly with a scream coming in from Samael. They're able to find that instant damage. It's not a healthy world for Arteezy. Yeah, he, he came very far underneath that tower, but Fnatic don't want to fight this. Actually, they did ping it with Ohio. The, the Observer Ward. There's an Observer Ward up on the hill to the north, and it's scanning this out. Now. The question is going to be who else can they get? And they find Universe out of position with Laguna Blade. The Observer would give them all the information they needed to. And EG, now they've got the tougher question. Do they finish this? They're, they're looking at a 3-4 at a staff lineup then. Ohio, Ned, as well as Mushi together. Top Danny Mage obviously has his blink, so he won't be controlled from that. And in fact, Black, I, like, I'm like you know what's Did going through Black's mind. He understands with a little bit of farm, Dyer's with a little bit of time, top he's top always going to be able to take out, take out these towers. And because EG used their fortification on the tier 2 tower in mid, oh, they have to TP back. Trouble. But they, it was a trap. Ohio was waiting. Fear thought he would be enough, but obviously wrong. Now they take the kill on Fear as well as the tower. The clockwork hook shot up, however, is going to try and cancel this. Ohio, he doesn't have a way out, doesn't have that four staff yet. Wants to buy up the pieces for it, but just doesn't really have the time. But Ohio, yeah, you can't run away from that. Not with a level four rocket available for Universe.
What a great hook shot that was. That was absolutely perfect. He they constantly get split pushed and have to go back and I think it's pretty clear that EG are very frustrated with the situation that they can't get to play their lineup the way they want and now Universe is caught again. Yeah, a quick pop. APD is going to throw out that Lich ulti as well as the bounce will continue. Uh, blink away is if I can make it a little bit difficult as Arteezy. He comes in and takes out the Lina. So Fnatic, they had to try and separate themselves. Oh, High is just TPing out of here. They don't want to get really involved. Black still on the front lines, keeping the attention of Arteezy up here. And maybe they find another one on bottom lane. What a shackle from TJ. Samael trying to get a little too aggressive there on Ohio. And he gets punished for it pretty hard. That just goes towards that BKB bank. And to come up. At that point, Black blinks in. He'll end up taking the Aegis Immortal. And this is when they could force out finally that tier 2 tower in mid. But the Clockwork Rocket from EG is there. And this is EG's moment. They were going to find a way to get back into this oh, game. Here's the man this is it. And there's the hook shot. For My soul dies. They come in, they'll grab Roshan, and there is nothing that Fnatic can do about it. And this was the perfect set of events that needed to happen for EG. Black tries to go aggressively onto Arteza using his still need to see them transition this into some sort of bigger advantage. If this Aegis just expires again, you're buying Fnatic another 10 minutes. Yeah. I don't know if EG can do it. Oh, hi, nice jump forward. Universe completely destroyed. Even gets that Bash chance down from Slaughter. So, Universe down for the count. They have no counters. They don't have any secondary silence or stun apart Dyer's from that clockwork hook. So it's just not possible for them to punish Black. So it looked, in a lot of games, the oh, one nice. nice hook shot. The four stop down by Net instantly went into the TP. Tower damage in the last 20 minutes has been 600. Dyer's top tower and AM goes again. Oh, this time they're ready though. Yeah, the Black, can he get himself out of this one? The Orc is controlling him. The burn, there it is with the Mana Star. Blinks away. And all that damage, the heart's gonna start to repair. That's the reason why they have to come forward. Nice BKB. Time oh. comes up. <laughs> so that goes for the crossbar. TZ commits the BKB. So he'll get Ohio in return. But, wow, <laughs> Queen of Pain. Fragile as ever, even with nice, the nice even play with play KB. They can't find a way to engage fights. Oh, Ohio, trying here for Arteezy, maybe trying to bait the BKB out, but... That's the second time he's trying to go for a very aggressive blink, but he comes short. So he understands that EG are walking back up the stairs, but he blinks to the, just the short, like, onto the stairs. So I think you're right, I think he's just trying to bait that BKB. At this point, well, they're probably gonna get him off. Arteezy, he's still holding on to his, the Lich Hold, he's gonna be pushing Fnatic back. The bounces will continue, and then a one-hit pass. Wow, well, I can't get any better for him for some mail. As now DJ, that's a good way to do it. Arteezy, the Monkey King Bar going to work. Three hits to bring down the Wind Ranger. Black could not finish up the top rack. The fortification will stop him, but more support has arrived. Ohio getting orchided up. Gotta get himself away, Universe, no hook shot, one second on cooldown, now he can let it rip if he feels the moment is right, but he needs a good target and he finds one, it's over towards the slaughter, with the blade mail up, Ohio, he's actually standing here, taking the damage, taking the hit, and he will end up dying here, he knew it, EG knew it, but EG lost their top range tracks and they lost their mid range tracks for that engagement. I still think that was a good ball. They forced that kind of like Max slaughtered until he finishes the satanic. He's kind of done. Uh, but this wind range has got more space. In fact, the wind range is still going as a glass cannon. Arteezy, this is very aggressive from him. There's no Aegis the Immortal, and there's no support. He's gonna die on bottom lane. 90 seconds on the sideline for a tier 2 tower on the bot. They still have to, it's not, like, they're ready to do as much damage as they want to. But uh, they should be more concerned for this Queen of Pain getting shackled at the moment on the top flank. Because if this works with that Daedalus, ha 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 ha! That's without amplified damage. Yep, right? and he had to buy back the teeth. Actually, the buyback comes out from the SF. PPD gets shredded in the mid lane. It's now Fnatic. They start their attack onto the tier 3 tower. The tombstone is already down and black. He knows there's no fortification, so beats into the melee racks. Universe, what's going to be stolen? It's just going to be the cogs from Ohio. Gets the bash as well. Another buyback now coming out from Samael. And Fnatic, they get two buybacks. They have Black attacking up on the top. And all they do is just retreat. They're forcing such an economic damage to EG that 
Like, they need to... And lifesteal back up. And what you need now, you just need a pick on Co-op or SF and the game is essentially over. Because both of them have buybacks on very long cooldowns for five minutes each. For actually Hook shot. Oh, here we go. Universe comes in a long way. They won that kill on DJ. The four stars giving him some space, but not enough. Mushi also blinked himself into this fight. Gets destroyed by Arteezy, but meanwhile on the northern front, you've got Black attacking into that melee racks and forcing the TPs back. For it. Like, it's when EG1 just popped down, try and take out Roshan while Fnatic, like, Dyer's backing up and trying to just regain their footing. And, uh, oh, bottom lane, Arteezy, he had his TP cancelled, he had to try and fight, he gets bashed up by Ohio, can't even get the full Requiem off, and there's 109 seconds on the side. Fnatic have just opened a huge window against EG. The money is not there, even if the cooldown is just a call of the win. Uh, Work it on a creep from some mail. Yep. That's not the plan. No. And hook shot stolen by Mushi. More maneuverability. In fact, Black jumps forward. He just wants Universe. And maybe now with the Grease, they can keep Universe alive. The bash is there and Universe is so low. Dyer's but the bottom lane is being attacked. Fox. The focus fire from DJ. They just want to keep going while EG is locked Dyer's in. And there it is. The good game gets called. EG will lose game one of this first best of three. The first series here at the Frankfurt Major. And it goes the way of Fnatic. It goes the way of the team, which weren't really the favorite coming into this. Most people were wondering if Fnatic could perform really well. Could they function as a squad? I think the answer is yes, judging I, by game one. I really like their draft. I think the biggest Achilles...